So today we're going to be learning how to display a delete button next to a post that you no longer want online. I got the idea for this because you can see some of the images here have been deleted and they're no longer on Imager. So we want the ability to delete posts. So let's get started. So when we're selecting the posts, we want to know if the post we're selecting was posted by the current user. So we're going to get our user ID variable and compare that with logged in user ID. So what we can do is close off this variable like that. And then in between here, what we'll do is create an if statement. And if the user ID equals the logged in user ID, we're going to display a button. And we'll actually move this form field out and put it down here. And in here, we want to put our button. And we just want to copy this and paste it down here for our else statement. So if we run this now, you can see now we have these X buttons. And if I go to another profile, we don't have the X buttons because I'm not logged in as how code I'm logged in as Francis. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the delete post. We're going to go to profile.php. And we're going to look for when the delete post button has been posted. So we'll create another if statement here. If is set post, delete post. So the first thing we'll do is check if the post actually exists. So what this query should do is check if there is a post in the database with the correct ID and it was posted by the user who's logged in. And we get the post ID from the get variable in the address bar and we get the user ID from follower ID. And if I scroll up, you can see follower ID is the ID of the user who's logged in. So what we're doing is we're checking if that query returns successfully and if it does, then we can delete the post. So then we'll say db query delete from posts where ID equals post ID and posted by equals user ID. And then here we'll just put in the array. So we'll pass the post ID, which we get from the address bar. And then we'll pass the user ID, which we get from follower ID. We also, when we delete a post, we need to delete any likes associated with that post. We actually want to change that from posted by to user ID. So our query doesn't fail. And we also want to go to post likes and delete any likes where the post ID is equal to the ID of the post we just deleted. So then what we'd want to do below this query is say DB query or post ID. And if we just double check, it's post underscore ID equals post ID. And then we'll just pass that array just like this. And we could also print out echo post deleted. So we're going to delete a post. And you can see we get this error. The post gets deleted from the posts table, but we get this integrity constraint error. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our SQL table and we're going to go to post likes and we're going to remove the constraint on the posts table. The constraint wasn't doing a whole lot for us and it's causing this error, which is annoying to fix. So we're just going to delete the constraint. And if I click on one of these, for example, this one, it says post deleted. And if I like a specific post like this one, for example, it says it has one like now. I go to the post likes table and you can see we have two rows. What I'm going to do now is delete this post. I'm going to refresh. And for some reason that row wasn't deleted. That isn't getting deleted because in the URL, we're looking for post ID equals 13. And if we go down here, we can see post ID is here. So we want to say if it's set post ID and is not set post delete post. That should stop that error. So let's refresh this. Now I'm going to like this post. I'm going to refresh. You can see there's the post there that I just liked. There's the 12 there. I'm going to click X. It says post deleted. I refresh and the 12 is gone. I like this post, for example, and I delete it. It's gone. And it's gone from the table. These are just two extra posts that uh, didn't get deleted because of the bug earlier on. So we can delete them manually if we want. But now we can delete posts. And if I go to someone else's profile page, for example, how code and I look at this, now you can see I have no option to delete anything. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favor and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.